It is my great honor to introduce to you Mr. Herb Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, for distinguished achievement in music, the Arts and Science Council is proud to present a 2008 ASC honor to Arthur Smith. Please welcome Clay Smith. Good evening. Charlotte's a diverse place, isn't it? <laughs> it's great. I was born and raised here, and... Uh, very proud of its uh, cultural heritage. And you know, when I was little, that was earlier this evening. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> really, when I was a, but a lad, my uh, dad was never around at breakfast time. Uh, he was already at work. 
But if I wanted to see him, all I had to do was turn on television because his job then was called Carolina Calling. I hope some of you remember Carolina Calling. <laughs> mm. Brother Ralph, Cousin Fudd, the whole group. It was every Monday through Friday, early morning. And then he had the Arthur Smith Show, which was a weekly evening show syndicated in over 90 markets, coast to coast. And it ran for over 30 years. Originated right out of Charlotte, North Carolina, I might add. And since his shows uh, way back were carried on CBS, our house literally became a turnstile of celebrities. So it was often that the question was asked, guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> One day it was Johnny Cash. Next week, James Brown. <laughs> Billy Graham came for supper many times. And we also broke bread with Bob Hope. That's diversity too, I would say. <laughs> It's not surprising I got to meet so many amazing people growing up. They were drawn to my father because of his good nature, his incredible talent, and because literally he was one of the most prolific and hardworking men in the business. When he wasn't on TV with those shows or the Arthur Smith Sports Fishing Series on ESPN <laughs> or his top of the morning radio program, he was out on tour playing his original songs. He has over 500 active copyrights, including his first big hit, Guitar Boogie, the first genuine crossover hit that rose number one on the country charts, crossed over and went to number one on the pop charts. And I think just about everybody knows and has probably hummed their own version of Duel and Banjos. <laughs> Originally called Feudin' Banjos, but made famous in the movie Deliverance. He's recorded over 100 albums, and his songs have been recorded again and again by artists from Roy Orbison to Tom Petty to our lifelong friend Johnny Cash. He's written music for movies uh, like Black Sunday, The Last Game, and Living Legend. And you probably hear his music once in a while if you catch the commercials for the Mini Cooper or Vonage, the phone service. <laughs> woo hoo, woo hoo hoo. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. On top of all that music, he also finds the time to build successful businesses like CMH Records, Arthur Smith Family Inns, White Point Seafood Restaurants. Cracker Jack Enterprises, Clay Music Corporation, and Smith Productions. That's where I work with him. That's right. He's my father, my business partner, and my best friend, Arthur Smith. I've had a chance to live in New York, uh, Washington, uh, Singapore, uh, uh, Europe. And I can tell you what, whether it's in Greensboro or Shelby or Banda Aceh, when people find out I'm from North Carolina, they say, do you know Arthur Smith? And now, here's the head man himself, Arthur Smith. Arthur is a unique talent. Google him sometime and you'll be amazed. Gosh, man, dueling banjos and guitar boogie? Here's a man whose heart and his soul are full of music, and he's just fabulously talented, but he has his feet on the ground. Everything Arthur does, he does right. Arthur was, a, was an institution on television. People in the Carolinas and throughout the Southeast, I'm sure, they set their clocks and, uh, and decided to be at home on the night the Arthur Smith Show was on. He was the first and, I think, preeminent local 
television show that we had. We got stuff piped in here from New York. But Arthur Smith was a real deal, and he was our guy. You know, I grew up knowing all his songs and watching the other great country stars come on there, like Loretta Lynn and Johnny Cash. Far from Folsom Prison. I'll never forget being on a plane one time, headed down to Jamaica. I was on vacation. And um, Johnny Cash uh, and June were sitting in first class with U.S. Airways flying out of Charlotte. And we started the conversation, very nice guy. And he said, oh, let me tell you, Arthur Smith is, is one of the most talented people I know. And he starts talking, I can't get him to shut up about Arthur Smith. Uh, the, the Cracker Jacks, the first thing I noticed about them, they were all oh, just great musicians, just great musicians. The, the impression I got was the Cracker Jacks, his band, they were like a family. And his brother Ralph and his uh, brother Sonny and others like Tommy Fale, there was a goodness there. Not a narrow-mindedness, but a, a real genuine salt-of-the-earth goodness. Oh, yeah. He ruled the guitar, baby. Oh, you said Les Paul and them. He, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I'll Smith pick it up. He ruled that. Yes, he's a beautiful musician. If anybody's ever heard do with banjos and doesn't think this guy is is once once in a generation, boy, we don't know much about music. Then way on over in 1973, it was done by some people that we thought we ought to be in on the residuals of it. <laughs> banjos, as everybody knows, Arthur wrote, and they stole from him, and then he had to file a lawsuit to, to get his intellectual property back. He was in New York when the final settlement came out, and I said, tell me what happened, and he described what happened in the case, and I said, well, how do you feel, and I got some quotes for the newscast, and then when we finished our conversation, I said, uh, by the way, Mr. Smith, I said, you were very close there to a very famous French restaurant, and I named one of the most famous French restaurants in New York. I said, you might want to go celebrate there tonight. And he said, Bill, we already have reservations. <laughs> He's a very good businessman. There's no other person that's inspired me uh, in this business uh, other than Arthur Smith. He was able to, to take that business to a level that nobody else has been able to take, not in this region. Arthur Smith knows how to make money, <laughs> you know, I can tell you that. I was here listening to a rough mix of a, of a song um, by an artist named uh, Randy Trawick, who is now Randy Travis. Uh, so uh, my comment was, oh, this guy will never make it in the music business. <laughs> And of course, we know that what the story is there, but I mean, if it wasn't been for Arthur Smith, there would be no Randy Travis. Roy Orbison Patton. Here's Andy Green. He transitioned music from the old country music, Bill Monroe, uh, Texas swing stuff, to something that North Carolinians could relate to. In all the hundred counties in North Carolina, Skipper Bowles is the man for you and me. Now you can see why I keep a day job. <laughs> but, but Arthur wrote that song for my dad when he ran for governor. And it's always been my favorite song. He's up there. I don't want to start comparing apples and apples, but Lunis McGlowan, Arthur Smith, the best of North Carolina is Arthur Smith. He just had a, a way of having people come to him and helping them throughout time. Very good man, very good person. When you say, can you see what he's done, it's sort of like saying, can you see what Billy Graham has done, or can you see what Martin Luther King has done? It's not palpable. Arthur Smith is, to me, a North Carolina treasure. So long for now, we'll see you again. Goodbye. Goodbye, good luck, good health. And God bless you, everyone.
Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my father, Arthur Smith. inspirational and amazing. You all have made it possible for ASC to support Charlotte's thriving cultural community for 50 years. At ASC, we don't make the music, we don't create the art, we don't have the know-how for scientific research, and we don't have the kind of vision that captures history the way you saw tonight. We do support those endeavors the work of the extraordinary people you just met. And ASC is proud to honor each of them. Congratulations to our honorees. Thank you all, and good night. Thank <laughs> you.